so now we would be seeing an app sheets version for our procurement module so we would be seeing how to create a purchase order and how to make a grn against that purchase order and how the further reports are being created so when we click on generate po so this is the app sheet interface which is a web app as well and you can do these entries from a mobile app as well so both are the options which we have available and let's create a po so this is the date the PO number is auto generated. Then we have our vendor masters in the backend. So whatever vendor we select, we get the address state, mobile, etc. Auto fest. We can select the shipping address. So other things are auto fest in a non-editable mode. So now let's say we want to add items to this PO. So we click on this new option in add item. So let's say we select this item. So the item code unit is being auto fest. The quantity we can enter the quantity, and as you can see, the rate is auto fest, but it's in an editable mode. So we can uh, put the rates in the backend and it can auto fetch, but we can change the rates as well. So I have changed the rate. We can reference other modules, the uh, databases as well. So now it is pulling out the latest sales order numbers going on. We can select the currency. Uh, we can enter the remarks. We can add a GST slab. It calculates the amount as per the GST slab. And now when we click on save, one item is added to this PO. Let's say we want to add another item. So we just simply click on new. Simply just select any other uh, item. We enter some rate. The currency is auto fetch. We select the sales order number, GST slab, and click on save. So now, as you can see, two items are being added. So any number of items we can add over here. It calculates the subtotal. If you want to add any uh, freight or discount, we can add that, and it does the calculations. And when we click on save, so now right here inside the app sheets we can see the database as well so this was the form and in the history we can see all the purchase orders as well so as you can see this purchase order is created so for one po we will do the entire process of uh, creating a pdf which is we have already done a pdf so to create a pdf it, there is a very simple button where uh, we just need to click on this create pdf so anytime we just click on create pdf so then it will create a PDF. So let's open a PDF for which it is already created. So for pan synthetics, once we click this, so in this PDF icon, we would be seeing a PDF something like this. So it auto fetches the data like billing address, shipping address, the date, the item name, code, all the terms and condition. If you want, we can enter the app and then we can send this for approval. So once the PO is created, he has an option to send this for an approval. So once they send this for an approval, it auto sends a WhatsApp message to the manager. So this is how the uh, WhatsApp message looks like he can see the purchase order PDF on this link and this is the approval link for the manager which he can click and like this and auto populated forms comes up where with the PO number where the manager can select whether it is approved or, approved or rejected. He enters his remarks and clicks on submit. So now as we can see for PO number 27, we just gave an approval. So one more icon is created, send email to vendor. So this icon only creates when the manager has approved the purchase order and uh, when we can send for approval when the PDF is created. So everything is interlinked and when we just click on this icon, the PDF would be sent to this particular vendor. So now we would be doing the GRN entry for the purchase order. So let's first see an open PO materials report which shows us all the purchase orders which are open. So for example, PO number 10, there are two items for this particular vendor and these are the PO quantities like 100 and 50. And against that we have received 50 for this particular item and for this item we have received zero. These are the pending quantities and from how many days it is pending. So we can mention delivery dates for POs and accordingly it calculates that it is already minus 18 days left and any updates to the PO we just can simply click the update button and add some updates which we can see over here. So now to do an app sheet based GRN entry we will go inside the app sheets again similar interface which creates GRN number automatically. Now we will select the PO number. So now when we select the PO number it auto shows only that specific vendor for this PO and it fetches the address state etc details. We can add lorry number or AWB number, any details which you capture while doing the GRN job or, or delivery chalan number or invoice number you can add. And now to add items to the GRN, you click on new. So it only shows the items for this specific PO. So it only shows first the open purchase order numbers. And then when we select the PO number, it only shows the item. So let's say we select this item. So it auto fetches the PO quantity over here, but in editable mode. So if any parcel quantity is being received, let's say we uh, enter 25 and the rate, currency, sales order number, etc. was auto fetched from the purchase order as it is. 
we can even upload test certificates over here it calculates the taxable amount we can select location if applicable for your grn entries so like this we have added uh, one item to the grn and now let's say we want to save it so once we save it so now upon clicking of save so this grn is being stored and in the history we can see on may 12 for manor industries this is the grn number we can click it and we can see all the detailed information over here what was the item and what was the main details of the po and even we can create a pdf for this particular grn which creates a pdf so now once we have done the grn we will track in our open po report that for uh, po number 10 which is this one so for that we did an entry for 25 grn quantity so po quantity was 50 and this is 25 and it shows that pending is 25 so in this way we can in a very user friendly way interlink previous modules and auto fetch information based upon selections and uh, we can get things in uh, auto fetch via in a non non editable mode or we can also fetch information in editable mode as well and then once we save everything is linked to google sheet so this is a very user friendly way to store your data app sheets opens up in laptops in mobile phones as well so in mobile phone it becomes a literal app where you can create pdf you can store information which is directly linked to our google sheets you can do calculations so this is a very user friendly and simple way to store your data via app sheets and you can also show information inside app sheet so like this we can show data like i want to filter out a specific item only so i just go over here and select steel and filter it out so i get the data which is for uh, specifically for steel so like this from Google Sheets, it also pulls out information and shows our database over here. So this is how we can use AppSheets uh, and uh, capture our data.